Computers are so ubiquitous in our everyday lives that we often take for granted all of the things they do for us. But computers don't think independently, yet, and everything they do requires a specific instruction. Those instructions we used to call computer programming are now commonly referred to as coding. Nowadays, anything with a battery or a plug is running some kind of code. When you push a button, the code gives the device a precise set of instructions. So you get the coffee you wanted and not a half-calf, no-whip, extra-hot, skinny soy latte. Computers work on binary logic. Everything is either a 1 or a 0, a yes or a no, true or false, on or off. But a single binary relationship is like one atom in the complicated DNA of a piece of code. It's a long way to go from just yes to yes, I'd like some coffee now. And writing out every step in binary code would be tedious and incomprehensible. So just like there are different languages around the world that facilitate communication between people, there are various programming languages that we can use to tell the computer what to do. These languages bridge the gap between how humans think and how computers need to receive instruction. Each language is designed to do different things. You might code in one language if you were designing a video game, and a different language for building a website. A mobile messaging app might use a different language than you would use to program a credit card reader. But the function of all coding is giving the machine directions so it knows how to respond to an action, like a mouse click or a button push. Our cup of coffee is a fairly simple process, but the more complex the instructions, the more complicated the code needs to be. The National Geospatial Intelligence Agency collects mountains of data from many sources, and the coding we use to sift through all that data can be pretty intricate. Coding helps to sort through it all and automate tasks that can speed up analysis. We can use it to crunch large numbers, coordinate collection efforts around the globe, or sometimes just to provide the caffeine needed to fuel the next great geospatial innovation.